Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks Figma Tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to use Boolean variables in Figma with an example of creating interactive checkbox using Figma variables and conditions. So conditions will include if else and how we are going to use if else along with that how to copy paste interactions in Figma. So while creating checkbox, we have the group of checkbox. So it will help us to copy and paste the interactions to make prototype or wireframe very easy in a less time. So we start that and here I have taken one frame. One rectangle so fix this with 40 by 40 and rounded corner. Now we need a checkbox icon means selected check. For that, I'm going to take one image or icon, place it here. Align it and then I'm going to make it this. Next, after creating this, need text. So we'll take the text and we'll write checkbox list. So here checkbox list one is ready. So just we are going to copy this and before that we are going to group this. So here going to give the name of group a checkbox list one. Now we can copy this. And name it as checkbox list 2 and the group name checkbox list 2. The same way we'll have the third group and We'll name this group as checkbox list 3. So all fine. Now going to create local variable. So here I have already created. Going to create again. Click on create variable. Boolean. And write checkbox. List one. So value will be false. Create again. Select the boolean. Checkbox list two. And same way checkbox list three. Now this is created. Now going to pass through this all local variable so how we'll do that select this and here within the layer you will get this right click and select checkbox list one same way for this right click select checkbox list two and checkbox list three now this work is done i'm going to keep the interaction to each of the group. So select this, come to prototype, interaction, on click and select condition. So in conditional, I'm going to add the condition if checkbox list one equal to false. So it is going to make true. So add action, 
set variable checkbox list one true else checkbox list one will be false so now next select here so this interaction is getting selected highlighted so just control c from your keyboard and select this group control b select this group and control b so in list one it is checkbox list one false a checkbox list one true and else this so now we are going to change this checkbox list one to checkbox list two so it is very easy way to copy paste and use it again while we are in very hurry and need to create a fast prototyping or a wireframe so this easiest way we can achieve the fast prototyping through the variables so all set now we can see the condition one 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 false to false here also two 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 false true and false and here also three false three true and then three false now i'm going to preview this so here i have checkbox list one two and three so checkbox any of them can be selected or unchecked so it is working fine and this easiest way how it is please write on the comment and use it for the fast prototyping or wireframing so see you in the next lesson bye thank you thank you very much